Our guest tonight is attorney Marlon Hill. Marlon Hill, how are you? Great to be here. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank What's you for occasion? having me. Thank you for having me. So I have a we'll couple. Change it to What's up, Jamaican? What's up, Jamaican? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna keep it like that. Maybe What's up, Caribbean? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> what is your relation with uh, Miami Parking Authority? Well, I, I serve as a board member. I've been a board member of the Miami Parking Authority for a number of years. Um, and as a board member, we're responsible for managing um, the setting policy for the Miami Parking Authority. And the Miami Parking Authority is basically a semi-autonomous. Um, it's related to the city of Miami. Um, so we manage parking spaces, um, parking garages within the city of Miami. Um, so whenever you park a car in a garage or you park it at a meter or you park it at a PN display machine, um, you have us to blame for making sure that you get to your meeting on time, make, making sure that you go shopping, wherever you want to go shopping in the city of Miami. How many parking does uh, MPA have in Miami? Well, we have well over 30,000 um, parking, 30, 30, in Miami. parking spaces in the city of Miami, yeah. Wow. And um, several parking garages um, that are located, and we also manage the, the surface lots. You know, so we have lots that you can park, you have the metered parking, and then you have the parking garages. Well over 30,000 spaces within this, the city of Miami. So it's a very important component to the economy um, of the city. Um, if you're going to an event, you know, you have to have parking. If you're going to go to work, you have to have parking. If you're going to live in a, in a condo association or in a neighborhood, there needs to be sufficient parking so that you can invite your clients and your friends to come and see you. So is MPA responsible for uh, the guy giving the tickets in the parking? Have you gotten a ticket recently? No. No, no, no. <laughs> well, you see, every city manages its, its own parking jurisdiction, right? So, you know, so if you go to Coral Gables, it's a different parking system. If you go to Miami Beach, it's a different parking system. The Miami Parking Authority is responsible for when you park in the city of Miami. Downtown Miami, Little Haiti, Wynwood, Coconut Grove, Alapada. Um, these are the places, Brickle. These are the places that when you go to park in a garage or a parking space, you want to be sure that you're dealing with the Miami Parking Authority. Now, if you get a ticket, now, whether you're parking at a meter or you're parking in a garage, and we have something that's very, very new in, this, in the city of Miami, Miami Parking Authority, you can pay for parking by phone. You can sign up on your phone. We have an app called Pay by Phone. All you have to do is to go to MiamiParking.com. You sign up your credit card, and you put in your license plate and you drive up to, let's say you're going to have lunch at the Hotel Intercontinental, you park, you put in the location number, and it charges your, your credit card automatically and sends you a text when you're about to run out of time. Wow. While you're sitting having lunch with your favorite friend so that you can add more time without leaving lunch. You can do that for all parkings? All parking. Wherever you're going to park in the city of Miami, just sign up at miamiparking.com pay by phone, it's an app on your phone, Android, iPhone, enter your credit card and your, um, your license plate. And when you drive up to the location, you look at the location number, you enter the location number and how much time you want. And then it sends you a reminder while you're at your meeting and adds more time. So you don't have to run back down, trying to find change and very, very easy. I can sign you up right now. It's very, very easy. What if it's a big lot and it doesn't have it, they have signage if it's our lot mm -hmm. run by us by the Miami parking authority there are going to be signs all over the place showing the location number and it's very very easy all you need is the location number after you sign up you have to sign up first uh -huh. of all paybyphone.com miamiparking.com you sign up your credit card secure private information only you have their authority to do that and when you drive up to the location, you just enter the location number. You want an hour, you want two hours. And if you run out of time, it sends you a it text message text. to remind you. And then you can just press enter, and you add more time, and you go on with your business. Well, I'm going to try that. Try it, please. A lot of people are, are really um, excited about it. And other cities are trying to look at adding the system as well, Miami Beach, Coral Gables. But we are pioneers in that, and we're very proud of it. What about the guys that work in these parking? 
Well, they're, they're customer service. Okay, they have to monitor and enforce. Do you the guys do you guys hire these guys too, or it's a different? They company? they the tickets that you pay. Whenever you get a ticket, mm -hmm. you don't pay it to the Miami Parking Authority. You pay it to the Miami Dade County, and it's we have to collaborate with Miami Dade County, and the um, the Miami Dade Police Department. Um, so that money, we have no incentive to give a ticket. It's basically a customer service. It's by law you have to pay um, for parking, um, but all that money goes directly to Miami Dade. Um, county. We don't have our customer service guys don't get any commission. They're just doing their jobs. In fact, you get a 10 minute grace period when you're late. And if you do get a ticket within 10 minutes after your time ran out, we will happily overturn the ticket. 10 minutes. I know some people that will be happy <laughs> to know that they have 10 Many minutes. Many people have been happy. Many people have been happy. <laughs> <laughs> people don't know they have 10 minutes. They're like, what? I'm about to get and a ticket And during the holidays, right we give extra grace periods for you know, more, like an hour grace period. An hour? Yeah. Holiday. During the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> so if I that doesn't park include Haitian 15. flag day, by the way. <laughs> so if I park for 15 minutes during the holidays, hey. Hey, we'll give, you a, we'll give you a break. That's great. <laughs> Is the app efficient? The app is extraordinarily efficient, very, very easy to use. Go pay by phone in your, in your app store on your phone. You can download it or go to MiamiParking.com and they can sign you up. Um, it's very, very easy to um, uh, use. Um, but the parking pay by phone is only within the city of Miami. There are other cities that are beginning to sign on using the same software, okay? The city of Miami is the largest city in Miami-Dade County. We have over 36 municipalities here in Miami-Dade County, but the city of Miami is the main one that many people go to for business and, and for um, other, other interests as well. So other cities are looking at adopting the same software. I promise you, if you're going to the city of Miami, you do want to get this app and, and pay by phone. It's very, very efficient, very, very convenient. We have about um, 25, um, Maybe 20 to 25 percent of our users are now signed up, and we're we're pushing for more people to sign up with this system um, because of its convenience and and how happy people are that we have it. Okay, but if I get to another parking in Miami and it doesn't belong to MPA, then this app won't work. Well, if you go to another city that signs up with the with, with the software, right, um, which is called Pay by Phone. Um, you'll see it in the signage that says pay by phone. So if you go to a city and you look at the signage in that city, you will see pay by phone and you'll be able to use the same, um, the same app and same software. Otherwise, you have to you know, pay by cash or pay by your, your change or whatever means that city provides. But for us, the most convenient way to park um, in the city of Miami, we suggest, is pay by phone. Otherwise, you'll be walking up to the meter, your credit card and cash and wasting time in your meetings. And, and sometimes the meters don't, don't work. Not in our city. <laughs> <laughs> Most times there, um, our, our machines are working very efficiently. And if, if it's not working, there's a phone number on each meter assigned that uh -huh. you can call us and let us know that it's not working. Well, I should have called last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please utilize the 800 <laughs> number. <laughs> what if I get to a parking and there's no signage at all? Then you're free to park as long as it doesn't say don't park here, or otherwise you'll be towed. <laughs> what if a guy shows up with a ticket? Hey, it's ten dollars to park here. You don't want to talk to any strangers. <laughs> what if they have a uniform on and they're like, "Hey, come park here." You don't want to. This talk belongs to, to MPA. <laughs> you don't see a beautiful blue, blue and yellow logo saying Miami Parking Authority. It's not official. Blue and yellow. Blue and logo. yellow logo. Now, in one of your parking lots. Yes. If they break into one of the cars. Are you guys responsible? If, they, if someone breaks into your car, we are not responsible. Um, but you obviously have to report everything that, you know, remember now, like anywhere else where you park your car, if something happens and someone commits a crime, you know, the Miami-Dade County Police, the City of Miami Police um, are responsible for, for solving that crime. So we encourage you to report it like any other crime. Okay, but you guys will have nothing. We don't, we don't get involved with law enforcement. We're not a law enforcement agency. Okay. If I would pay for two hours and my car gets towed after 20 minutes, you guys are responsible for that or I would have to contact? As police? long as your car was parked legally mm -hmm. and parked in the amount of time that you paid for, within the grace period of the 10 minutes, 
maybe I used the app and it didn't get through. And when they we will <laughs> we will figure it out in our customer service. If you park legally, you paid for the time that you use, and um, everything else is all things being equal, and your car was towed, we'll take care of it. If I use the app, I'm not gonna have a little piece of paper to put on my dash. It's so automatically, the car it automatically, the, the, the way the system works, when mm -hmm. you use the app, the system is connected to the law, the, the, um, the, the um, enforcement officers. They have a machine that reads your license plate and verifies that you have paid ah, for time. Okay. No more paper. Hopefully it's efficient because- I, I, I will <laughs> you tried it. take my name you as tried a it member yourself. of the board that this system is really, really, really first class, 20th, 21st century technology for parking and it's really today. And you use it? I use it. And it works? My wife Carla uses it and she loves it. Okay. My law partner uses it when she's in court. She loves it. She's in court, time runs out, hearing is running over. She doesn't need to run she out. She doesn't need to, to run out, send your text right there. Beautiful. That's good. Do you have uh, security cameras in your parking lots? Parking garages, yes. In the parking garages only? Parking garages and in some, in some of um, our lots, we, we do have security. Um, and we want to make sure that people feel safe in terms of lighting and stuff like that. If, and if someone feels that they're parking somewhere and, and it doesn't you know, feel or look safe, you know, we encourage them to let us know so that we can evaluate and maybe improve on that particular location. Well, I got lost in all the app details uh, and I forgot to ask you an important question. Why does Miami Parking Authority feel the need to celebrate with the Haitian community? Why not? Why not? I mean, you know, Haitian Americans are a very significant and an important part of the fabric of the city of Miami. You know, thousands of residents and business owners um, and the culture and heritage of Haiti um, is very important to the city of Miami and South Florida. So we thought, you know, we're celebrating Haitian culture and heritage here in Miami-Dade County um, for the month of May, and we are a very important agency um, to the quality of life of our residents and businesses, and we should be a part of celebrating that, this important milestone. Um, there are many events that happen during this month in the city of Miami where people are parking and eating and shopping, you know, Kumpa Fest and events at the Little Haiti Cultural Center and events all around um, Miami. So uh, we just wanted to kind of celebrate that and to demonstrate that Haitians are, are, are an important part of our economy and important part of our way of life here in Miami. That's very nice and we hope that you're going to continue celebrating with us. Well, I hope we, you know, we set an example for other organizations and companies and, and agencies to recognize this fact. You know, we're a community that's filled with a number of um, other heritages and cultures from all across the world. And um, it's important for us to, to recognize and respect each other in that way. As a Jamaican, what is your message to the Haitian community? Well, I think the Haitian community needs to um, Park more? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Use more pay by phone, Miami parking, right? Um, but I think that, you know, um, the, the Haitian community um, needs to recognize that, that um, it's a part of the greater fabric of the community. We should be involved with as many um, events and activities with the city, attend city council meetings, um, look out for more partnerships with other groups and other communities, um, share your culture and heritage, explain you know, why do you eat what, why, what you eat? Why do you listen to the type of music, the type of music that you, type you listen to? I think that when people understand your culture and your heritage, your music, your food, why you speak the way you speak, why you have the body language that you have, they understand how you make decisions as, as a business person or how, you, how does your coworker, when you see two um, Haitian men um, arguing, they're not really arguing, they're telling a joke, right? <laughs> Something like that. And people need to understand those kind of little things. So my message is, you know, share your culture and your heritage. And don't be afraid of it. And um, invite other people to be a part of it. Marlon Hill, thank you very much for thank coming you. out. Happy Haitian Cultural Heritage Month. You know, enjoy Flag Day and we look forward to celebrating with you okay. this month. And I will test the app. Please do. Please do.